Daniel chapter 7. We've been studying about these beasts of Daniel's night vision. Of the griffin of England. Of the bear of Russia. And the leopard of America. And you want to know what I said and how I said it and why I said it. Go back and get the three other videos. So tonight we're going to move on to verse 7. And after this, <clears throat> I saw the night visions. Again, that night pitches the church age. To coming to the end. And behold, a fourth beast. And again, I, I made a note last time too. Notice each of these beasts. They're still there. They're still in a semi kind of power like the griffin of England. They don't have no power, but he's walking about. The bear is still... Fiercely devouring, and he's doing it today with, with the Ukraine, and America's still there. And now up comes this fourth beast. And notice about this fourth beast, I'm going to tell you right away, this fourth beast is the Antichrist. After the church is gone, after the church is raptured, there is a period of seven years called the Great Tribulation, Three and a half years of tribulation, three and a half years of the Great Tribulation, Daniel's 70th week, which we'll be studying pretty soon. And in that period is a man called the Antichrist, the devil incarnate. And as we go through and close with the book of Daniel, we're going to learn more and more about this man. See, everybody jumps to the book of Revelation. Daniel and the book of Revelation go hand in hand. He says the fourth beast is dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. I mean, you think Russia's doing what they're doing today? That's nothing compared to what the Antichrist is going to do. Out of Hitler was a pussycat to all the Jewish people he killed compared to what the Antichrist is going to do. And it had great iron teeth. This is that beast. Iron teeth. Iron is the legs of Rome in the, in the uh, dream of Nebuchadnezzar. Remember the legs were two legs, typical? Rome split into east and to west. And from that, you have the Russian Orthodox Church, Greek. You have the Anglican Church in England. You have the Eastern Roman Catholic Church, and you have the Orthodox Greek Church. Great Iron Teeth. Now watch this beast. It devoured and broke in pieces. The bear was said to arise and devour much flesh. The Antichrist is going to move and continue on what the bear did not finish. If, 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 if the war with Russia and Ukraine is, is one of the final things and the church rapture happens. If, if, if the Antichrist is going to pick up where Russia leaves off. The Antichrist will move on. If, if, if. Listen, Alexander the Great went through. Adolf Hitler went through. Think of history as they rewrite history and erase history. Think of all the emperors and all the, the, the conquerors and all the warriors that traveled from one point and, it looked, and the things that he took. Look at the Roman Empire. Started off and then grew, 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 grew. That's what's going to happen with the Antichrist. It devour and break in pieces. Now, in the in the image of, of 
Nebuchadnezzar <clears throat> is the rock Jesus Christ that came <clears throat> and broke the, the image now. <clears throat> but the Antichrist is going to come, then the griffin, the bear, and the leopard are going to be broken. There's quite a possibility that America will, will be here when the Antichrist, but America will be broken by the Antichrist. It's possible the bear will be here to the Antichrist. Russia will be broken and England. And stamp the residue with the feet of it. And the feet is the bear. Okay? You say, well, what, what, where are you getting this? I'm glad you asked, because Revelation. Revelation chapter 12. What I say is from the scriptures. And it's not Revelation 12, I want. Revelation 13. Revelation 13, 1. Now, there's many Christians and pastors out there, you know, he's full, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Notice I'm giving you the scriptures. I dealt with the pastor one time in my house. He, no scripture at all. And threw a whole bunch of garbage at me. I said, goodbye. See you. I stood upon the sand of the sea. That's where Daniel's dream started in Daniel 7.3. I saw a beast, a beast, rise up out of the sea. <clears throat> like we're reading about right now. Daniel saw the griffin, Daniel saw the bear, Daniel saw the leopard, Daniel saw this, this beast is undescribable. Having seven heads, pay attention, ten horns, pay attention, upon his horns ten crowns, pay attention. So there are seven heads, ten horns, and ten crowns. And upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. And the beast, which I saw was like unto a leopard, Daniel 7. His feet were as the feet of a bear, Daniel 7. And his mouth was as the mouth of a lion, not with wings, not the griffin. The mouth that's now a lion, without the wings, without the power, he is like the leopard. He's white, black, oriental, brown, yellow. Let's get everybody together. Let's, let's get diversity and, 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 and multi, multi culture and, 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 you know, ecumenical, get all the religions together. Catholics are not bad. The Jews are not bad. The Jehovah Witnesses are not bad. Everybody's good. This is the this is the way of the Antichrist, and it's in the Baptist Catholic churches. The feet were as the feet of the bear. He's going to walk like Russia. You know, Russia was quiet for a while because she was sobering. She was stockpiling, and she comes out of her cave. I'm hungry. Now, she may go back in her cave and, and hibernate again for a little while. may not be the time. See, the media and the world and the world leaders and, and worldly Christians, they don't know what the Bible says. Are you worried about Russia? No, it might be just coming out of hibernation, and it may go back into hibernation. This may not be the right time he comes out of the bear, out of the cave. And his mouth is a mouth of a lion. If it's the English griffin, the, the language is English. And all over the world, people are being taught English. All over the world, I, I read from a guy who, who's in Russia. He's Russian, and he had to learn English to get a better job and better opportunity. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and his great authority. The dragon, look at that. That's China, but not China. And I saw one of his heads as it wounded to death. The Antichrist is going to be wounded. Okay. And the wound was healed. 
and all the world wondered after the beat. Okay, we're not, not, we're not going to go any further than that. That's a whole other study, but go back to chapter 12. That dragon, which is China. And by the way, Russia is now trying to get China involved. Are you worried? No. You, if you blow up the world with a nuclear bomb, you'll just blow me to heaven. And I want a good verse out of here. I don't want to do much reading. Verse 9. Revelation 12, 9. And that great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, Genesis 3, called the devil and Satan. So we'll deal with, and the book of Thessalonians, and that will come up later. This is all one man. This is the Antichrist. And Daniel chapter 7. And Christian, oh, I'm not going to take the mark of the beast. I'm not going to get that vaccine. You have the mark of the beast. You don't need to worry about the mark of the beast if you rightly divide the scriptures. So back to Daniel 7. 7. And he sent the rest of you with the feet, the bear. It was diverse from all the beasts that were before. So what we read about the griffin, what we read about the bear, we read about the, the leopard, this beast, though he is likened to all three in the book of Revelation chapter 13, he ain't like these beasts. He may have American roots, but he's not going to be like America. He may have the, the, the walkings of a bear, but he ain't going to be like Russia. He may speak English, but he ain't going to be like the English. He's going to be his own. He's going to be Satan incarnate. And look at here. And it had ten horns. Well, start paying attention to the horns because that's going to come up more and more as we go to Daniel. Horns, symbol, power. Strength and kings. We're taking this slow. I considered the horns, plural. And behold, there came up among them another little horn. There's the Antichrist. And when we go through the book of Revelation, and when you go through all that, you get a proper teacher. And I advise you to get Dr. Peter S. Ruckman's studies on Revelation. And Daniel, that little horn. We're going to be going through the horn and all that. That's the Antichrist. The Antichrist is coming out of ten horns. Now, don't say during the church age, well, we got, you know, this is, you know, President Biden. This is Queen Elizabeth. You don't know what ten leaders are going to be when the Antichrist comes. I'm not even going to make that. I don't know. Maybe you could find 10. Listen, I, it, if, the, if the rapture is imminent, I mean, if the rapture is soon, and we don't know when, the Antichrist is in some kind of political power right now. Or the Antichrist has just been born, or is going to be born, or he's growing up as somewhere. The Antichrist has got to be born, first of all. And if he has been born, we're, we're getting there. If he's in power somewhere. So there's one little horn before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the root. So the ten horns comes up a horn, ten kings comes up. Horn. Three of them kings are completely wiped off the head. Put to death. Power is gone. And behold, in this horn, one, were eyes like the eyes of man. The Antichrist is going to be man. He's going to be the death. He is going to be the absolute, complete opposite of Jesus Christ. He's not going to be God manifest in the flesh. He's going to be Satan manifest in the flesh. And he's going to have eyes of a man. And a mouth speaking great things. And with that mouth, you'd be speaking English. 
He's going to get up to his oratorial platform and all the world's going, oh, oh, ooh, isn't he great? What a great leader we have, like the Christians say. What a great pastor we have. Because he's a great speaker. You know, when Paul was put before the court, they went and got a great orientator. I think they even give his name. This man, he knows how to speak. And when he speaks, he'll put Paul to death. And a lot of, a lot, a lot of these industrial meetings and these corporate meetings, they get the right person to speak. You can take something boring as a PowerPoint, but man, we got if we hire the right speaker. I mean, it's amazing how how many times have you gone to a company orientation and they put that stupid video in front of you and they got a, a Hollywood actor or actress. Like they really take the time, you know. They got a good speaking. You know what I mean? But you, mean, you, you can get the King James on video and they always got that Alex Scorby because he's got that voice. My question is, does Alex Scorby know Jesus Christ? I bet you when they make these Jesus movies, I bet they search the Gentile and if they find the Gentile with a good voice. Not, not that he can speak Hebrew. Or Greek. How come the, how come these scholars when these movies come out? It's not the original. He's not speaking Greek. Jesus spoke in the Greek. <laughs> and the mouth speaking great thing. That mouth, according to Thessalonians, is going to blaspheme the God of heaven. Look at the life in the in the in the the work of Adolf Hitler. And Stalin. And the great lectures of the U.S. president. I mean, a lot of people, you know, Donald Trump said Jesus. Somebody wrote that for Donald Trump. And somebody put Jesus in there to, to get you Christians on ooh and ah. He, didn't, he don't write those things. He uses a teleprompter just as much as, as, as Obama did. You just can't see his. I've seen people get up to get up to a lecture and they got their phone right there. You can't see it and they're reading off their phone. Don't fool me. Verse 9, new paragraph. Now we're going to be jumping. <laughs> okay? And this is the problem. This is where the Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly dividing the word of Jesus. This is where you got to rightly divide. Because you remember when we first started Daniel chapter 7, Belshazzar is in reign. Belshazzar was dead in chapter 6. He died in chapter 5. Chapter 7 is not in order of Daniel. That may be one of your problems. You're not rightly dividing. I beheld till the thrones, plural, were cast down. All, and it's in Isaiah, all nations are going to fall. All nations are going to fall. They're a drop in the bucket, Isaiah said. At the end of the Gentile nation, even at the end of the Christian nation, you see, what's that? Jesus said we're kings. Jesus is the king of kings. When we have given our, our leadership and our inheritance of the land, in the millennial land, well, that's going to come to an end in, at the end of the end of thousand years. The heavens and earth are going to be destroyed. So we are at the end of the millennium. And the ancient capital A, I wonder what modern Bibles do with that, because that ancient of day, who's the ancient of day? It's Jesus Christ and God. You can't put a birthday on Jesus and God. I mean, the human side of Jesus, all right, 33 and a half years, but Jesus as God, 
If you say Jesus is 10 years old and Jesus is 33 years old as God, you you are doing a Jehovah Witness. You're putting, well, as the man, he wasn't God. Yes, he was. <clears throat> Did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. Pay attention to that. His hair is a he head like pure wool. White. Pay attention to that. His throne was like the fiery flame. And his wheels, pay attention to that, as burning fire. Now, Revelation. Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 12. You ready? I turned to see the voice that spank with me. To see the voice. To see the voice. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. In the midst of the seven golden sticks was like unto the Son of Man. Jesus Christ. Who has been erased in the book of Daniel. By your modern Bible. Because Nebuchadnezzar could not have known Jesus Christ. You know how many unsaved Gentiles know about Jesus Christ but don't believe in Jesus Christ? That doesn't go to church and knows enough to cuss Jesus Christ's name out there in the world? You don't think Nebuchadnezzar couldn't find out about the angel of the Lord? You mean with the testimony of the great things the angel of the Lord has done in, in the Bible and things are not written in the Bible? You mean he's never heard about this one angel that follows Israel? Wiped out an entire, I mean, come on. You got to get on your scholarship and throw it in the garbage. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And girt about, he's not wearing shorts. Florida Christians. And girt about his paps, that's his chest, with a golden girdle. Men should not wear what wears to women, and women shall not wear what pertains to a man. That's a sin. Are you wearing your girdle, sir? Do you have your girdle on? Are you? They're raising stink now. I mean, is a Celt. You know, the Scottish, they wear the Celts with the bagpipes, maybe because I've been putting bad pipe. Uh, songs on my Facebook thing. Is that right? Saul wore a skirt. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe you and your Americanism. Maybe you're wrong. <coughs> All right, women. The Christians get all upset that the Muslim women have to wear that 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 that, that, that gown and, and the puka, whatever you call it, and all that. That's exactly what. Mary wore, that's exactly what Rachel wore, that's, that's exactly what Leah wore, that's exactly what Sarah wore, wore. and then, you know, you know that when, when Rebecca got off her camera, she put a veil on her face I mean, she's a well why don't you Christian women have a veil that's Bible I see men they get these crazy share, haircut the Bible says you have to run your head well, that's Jewish. So is what pertains to a man. What pertains to, we're not under the law, but, you know. Have you read the rest of that chapter? You're not. The same chapter, within three or four verses after that, says you're not to plant tomatoes with peas and carrots in a, one garden. How you doing? How I got off on that. His head and his hairs were like White, like, what? What? What's it say? How come Daniel and, and John, many, 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 many years apart, see the same? As white as snow. Are you going to see that in your Christian movie? Jesus' hair that was black as a raven is now white as snow. Why? Because the church has been just giving him a hard time. You know, I dye my beard. Every once in a while the gray comes out. I tell my daughter, see that gray? That's you. 
It's you and your brother. That's the great. You know why Jesus got white hair? That church. <laughs> that Christian. Me. I gave him the white hairs. The eyes were as a flame as what? What was that? No. Daniel doesn't know nothing, does he? All right, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Now you thought we went through Ezekiel. Uh, when we did, you can go back. You can go find Ezekiel in our thing. Ezekiel one, verse thirteen. You ready? As for the likeness of the living creatures, this is four beasts. Their appearance was like the burning coals of fire, like the appearance of lance, and went up and down among the living creatures. And the fire was bright. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Look at verse 15. Now as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth. Okay, there's those wheels. That's a quite a bit of study we went through. Go back and find Ezekiel chapter 1 on our website. Daniel. Daniel 7. Ancient of Days, verse 9. Did sit, whose garment was white as snow. The hair of his head was pure wool. And his throne was like fiery flame. And the wheels were burning fire. Now look at that. There's Ezekiel. There's John. There's Daniel. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Where two or three are gathered together, there I am miss them. The Jewish law says, unless you have two or three witnesses, it can't be established. There you go. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Now, you would probably go run and say, this is the second advent, and that would be very nice. But we got a problem. It can't be the second advent, because look what follows. Thousands of thousands ministered unto him. Okay, you can say that's the church behind him. Okay. 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. And judgment was set. Okay, here's the trouble. And the books were open. When Jesus Christ comes back, yeah, there's that fire. Then the books were opened. There is no book or books at the second advent when Jesus comes back on his horse. Now, you may have that comma after the judgment, or actually would be the colon stood before him, the enemies, colon. And the millennium. And then the judgment was set, the earth is gone, the millennium's gone, the heavens are gone, and the books were open, Revelation chapter 20. Notice how, many, how often we keep going back to the book of Revelation. I've been through the book of Revelation, I don't know how many churches. Only twice have I been back to Daniel, Revelation, Revelation, Daniel. That's under the teachings of Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. And his church and Charity Bible Baptist Institute that I graduated to be a doctor of theology. Anywhere else, they don't go back to Daniel. I know a church, if they did Daniel, um, should I say this right? Daniel. If they did Daniel, you would be lucky if it took 12 weeks. The same said church would take 22 weeks to do the book of Revelation. That's amazing. Even less. And sometimes you throw two, two chapters in one week. I got witnesses. You want me to call them up before the board? You say, style, you're uh, just these four beasts. You're, you're you're on three studies, but we're getting the word out. So let's look at verse nine. And they went up from the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints. About all right, the millennium is coming to an end. Beloved, the beloved city, this is where Jesus Christ is. 
Fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured. The devil has gathered an army. At the end of a thousand years, he's loose. He gets an army. They compass Jerusalem and the Christians and the Jews and, and the, the Gentiles. There's going to be a massive great war. And fire came down. God destroyed the army. Then we just read about a fire. Then we read about a, the ancient days that sit. There it is. So I don't believe it's the second advent. I believe it's here we are. And the devil that cast, excuse me, the devil that deceived and was cast in the lake of fire. Now I, people say the devil's going to stand before Jesus and bow that Jesus is Lord. I don't think so. Because notice the devil that deceived them is cast in the lake of fire in verse 10. Verse 11, then the great white throne shows up. The devil that deceived them was cast in the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet, where the Antichrist is and where Judas is already. They have been cast in there at the second advent. And forgive me for taking coffee. Got a lot of plant pollen today and got an itchy in my throat. So the false prophet, the beast, and the devil are in the lake of fire. Then the great white throne judgment shows up. They don't stand before Jesus. If I got it correct. And I could have it wrong. I mean, this is not a doctrine that you're going to go to hell on. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. That's the end of the devil. He loses. And I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it, which would be Jesus. <coughs> you know what? No point ever do a, does a lost man ever see God. If he sees God, he's going to see God as Jesus Christ, who he rejected. From whom the face of the earth and the heavens fled away. We read that previously. Well, if you read. And there was found no place for them. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Who's that? Jesus. And the books were open. Uh, the, uh oh. The what? Another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So there's the books, and there's the great white throne judgment. And there's fire. Back to Daniel. He says, Stanley, finish it. No, you go read it. If the Lord tarries, eventually maybe we'll get to Revelation. I don't, I don't know if we have, we've already been through Revelation. I don't know if that's, you have to check our website. I don't know if we, it's up. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The burning fire, verse 9. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands of ministers, ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, and the judgment was set, and the books were open. Revelation twenty. <clears throat> and I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. We are back to the tribulation. You see what God did? Here's the Antichrist. I mean, here's these ten horns and three are put down. This little horn comes up. He's got this great voice speaking evil, wicked things according to Paul and Thessalonians. And then we bring up the judgment. The great white throne judgment. Why? Because God's going to say, after all what I'm going to say about this man, he's going to end up in hell. He's going to end up in the lake of fire that burns forever. A little P.S., <laughs> Well, no, well, footnote. If you go scripture with scripture. Now we're back to the um, verse 11. Great words which the horns make. 7 11. Go to Psalm 7 11. I know Psalm 711, but I, I just can't quote it. So we're going to go there. 711. God judges the righteous. And God is angry with the wicked, the wicked, every day. 
I tell you, and I teach, and if you heard my thing, I point to the wicked people, but I point the wicked, I point that to the Antichrist. Back to Danny. 7 Seven Eleven. It's not for a slurpy. I beheld even the beast was slain. The beast is going to die twice. Did you read about dying twice in Revelation 20? If you didn't, I advise you to go read it. And his body destroyed. His human body. Not his soul. And given to the burning flame, lake of fire. And as concerning the rest of the beast, the griffin, the bear, and the leopard, they had, 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 had. If that leopard's America, it will had their dominion taken away. America's going to fall. Oh, mighty Russia's going to fall. Tough up for liquor, dude. Have to spot the tea. They're going to fall. Yet, their lives will were prolonged for a season and a time. There's coming an end of the, of the dominion and power of the griffin, the bear, and the leopard. But they're going to be still hanging around for a while. What? The Antichrist is going to walk like the bear, he's going to talk English, and he's going to be like the leopard. The only thing the Antichrist is going to be prejudiced against is the 144,000 and the Jews. And those who won't take the mark. I saw in the night visions, plural, and behold, one like the Son of Man, Jesus, came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, God, and they brought him near before him. And it was giving him great. Now, verse 13 is the second advent. Verse 14, the millennium. And there was given him, the Son of Man, dominion. And glory. And a kingdom. All to Jesus. I surrender all. To all people in the millennium, Jews, Gentiles, nations, there's nations, and languages. Oh, there's the Tower of Babel. We've, been, we've had to go back a few times. In the millennium. Now who are the nations? Those nations are the people that help the Jew. Now let me tell you something about America. 2022. You don't mess with American and their coffee. You don't mess with America and their gasoline. And if Israel will stand in the way of America not having to pay cheap cash, America will turn her back on Israel if it came to, hey, we want cheap gas. And President Bush did that. Listen, they're the, they're the weapons of mass destruction. There were no weapons of mass destruction. And we turned against Israel because we wanted the oil. What would America sell Israel out? Petroleum. Because everybody who's got the petroleum is the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ishmael, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and, and come to find out Ukraine and Russia, they also have gasoline and petroleum, but Russia is an enemy of Israel in the Bible.
Maybe for the fact is, and they don't like it, maybe President Biden churned off that, that pipeline so God and Satan can work off with, with prophecy. As I'm sure the whole world was, was t totally just, just aghast and just so happy when the Roman Emperor said, all right, taxation in the family where their family is. Honey, yes, Joseph, get on the donkey. We got to go down to Bethlehem because we got to be taxed and we got to be put into the census. Okay. Oh, Joseph, my water broke. <laughs> oh, Micah wrote it was right. <laughs> Out of Bethlehem. What if Joseph had a tea party? Jesus would never have been born where he was. Now, I'm not saying, I don't know. But I mean, what, what Biden didn't cut that pipeline? Maybe the, we wouldn't be on the road of the Antichrist. I, I'm just saying, just saying. His dominion, Jesus' dominion, is an everlasting dominion. That's Jesus. Some people would love to put America there. Which shall not pass away. Even though the heavens and earth pass away, his kingdom does not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Well, all the other nations have been destroyed. The Gentiles will get the new earth and the, I mean, excuse me, excuse me. The Gentiles will get the new heavens. The Jew will get the new earth. And the Christians will get new Jerusalem. Now NASA's out there trying the Mars and the moon and Uranus. That's not now. Can you imagine God's going to give to the Gentiles one day? All right, there it is. There's Mars. There's Saturn. There's Uranus. I mean, whatever, whatever new name. He, gonna, he says, I'll make all things new. So it'll be a new name. Can you imagine what NASA is spending and wasting money doing to when God's going to say, there it is. It's yours. As far as you want, it's yours. Name it, claim it. That's exactly what what the what the morons believe. You know, we got to have multiple wives so we can have multiple children, so we can populate outer space because their gods is, is in UFOs, flying, dealing, whatever they do. That's religion. That's science. You don't get those 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 planets until you put your faith and trust in Jesus. That's exactly what Nebuchadnezzar did. You mean Jesus in God, the Son of God. He believed the Son of God that was the fourth man in that fire, which the Bible says that's not God and that's not Jesus. Now you see why I say that modern Bibles are of Satan? I mean the modern Bibles, some of them make the sun of the morning, Jesus said, I'm the, I'm the sun of the morning, or the morning star, excuse me. And then they run over to Lucifer in chapter 14 of Isaiah, and they make Lucifer the morning star, which is Jesus. Well, congratulations, you are reading Satan's Bible. And it doesn't have to be written by Anton of LaVey, it can be written by American. Published in America. Red, white, and give you... Black and blue. God's not going to bless America with ASV, NAV, and you are dumb. You, Bible. Plain and simple. Plain and simple.